Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And these messages are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, you can always check out your other placements to see what else comes up. What's going on with Cancer in love? Give me love messages for Cancer. Love messages for Cancer. Okay. We have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. Some of you, you're with someone who is actually good for you, but some of you may have questions. Let me see what's going on with cancer. Here we are too. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Also calling in your soulmates. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for some of you, you are separated from someone who you still will be with, okay? This could mean a reconciliation, but I feel some of you just have some doubts about this connection. There's, there's chemistry and there's a possibility of this person being the one for you, but it's either you, you're, you're in separation and you're trying to manifest this person back, call them back into your life, or you're trying to see what else is out there, okay? But let me see what we got here. Cancer, what's going on with cancer? Okay, coming together. This is the Two of Cups. So it is very real that you're just going through a rough time because we have uh, challenging times, which is the Five of Wands. So, you know, conflict. There are some challenging times going on with you right now, but we have come in together. That's why I feel, especially with this, could be the one. I feel like you guys are coming together. Why am I stuttering? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, let me see what we have here. What is this person's energy towards cancer? Okay. Four of Pentacles. This person is not letting go of you, okay? They are not letting go of you, but some of you might be dealing with someone who isn't really showing their feelings or being open. I do see them trying to make a decision. Some of you, I'm getting the message that they didn't have enough time for you, or you felt like they needed to spend more time with you. They seem to be very career focused as well. What's Cancer's energy towards this person? It's almost like choosing between the career and you or trying to juggle both. You got the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. Some of you do want a lot from this person. Um, but you will start to see things differently. I feel for some of you, you may have a conversation that will um, change things. As in, they'll get you to see their, their side of things and understand. But I do see you kind of, your views kind of changing when you guys reconnect or when you have that talk, even if you're not in separation. Okay, the energy of this connection, got the Knight of Wands. Energy of this connection. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who's always busy and always on the run if they're a fire sign. But the energy of the connection. Some of you, it's a marriage because we have the, the Hierophant. And we have the Two of Wands. So some of you, it's a long distance situation. Um, there, seems to, there just seems to be not a lot of time spent together. Okay. Well, we have the Ace of Cups. This could mean another chance for this connection, or it could mean someone new is coming your way. But I'm going to look at your main spread. See what's going on. Cancer. What's going on with Cancer in love? 
Cancer in love, what's going on with that connection? Okay. Wow. King of Cups, this person is either in love or falling in love. Okay. The Chariot, they could be a Cancer like you or Pisces or Scorpio with the King of Cups. Wow. Knights of Cups as well. This person seems to be... It just seems like they, they want to make a lot of money or just have a lot of success and security. You know, they want to secure life maybe because I'm, I'm getting the vibe that because of what's going on in the world right now, they may have gotten like this wake up call to make sure that they're financially secure at all times. So your person could be really focusing on that and they could explain that to you soon. If they haven't already, but for some of you, this person, it's like they're, they're trying to make everything happen. The relationship and life itself. They're seeing you as a nine of wands. So they're seeing you as kind of standoffish. And some of you may have kind of pulled away emotionally because you feel like there's not enough time being spent with you or not enough effort on their end. Some of you are needing to just connect with friends and see what they think, you know, just get some opinions just to see. But we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. See, this person has a fear of the lack of stability. They have a fear of that um, financial stability, this person. They do, it's like with the Seven of Pentacles as their wishes, they really want to secure themselves. They want to make long-term investments. They want to, I, I feel like they're really shooken up right now about life. So they're really trying to plant seeds, you know. They are fearing like future stuff, like they don't know what could happen. 2020 has scared this person to really fight for security. Um, and that's what's really getting in the way of the connection for some of you. But they do want to take things slow. For those of you who are dealing with someone who isn't so focused on their career, they seem to want, want to take things slow and just progress, okay? The next move, the Nine of Pentacles. Again, with the whole money situation, they really want to create this kind of secure life, you know? In the position of what you need to know is the Page of Swords. This is also someone who's really thinking and trying to make plans, trying to be logic and trying to plan for, for the future. This can also mean that communication is coming in for you, a message, a straightforward message from this person, or it could come at a fast pace, as in like it could come very soon, but could be dealing with a Libra. We have justice here. This person, they're eventually going to find a way to balance everything out between you and them and life and everything. They're eventually going to find a way to balance it all out, to make it work. We do have the Knight of Cups here, so they are coming towards you. This is the energy that they're in. But the thing is, because they had the Two of Pentacles just now before I did this spread, they're really trying to balance both things, love and career. What's blocking is a will of fortune, unexpected change. You see what I mean? 2020 has shook up this person. It's made them think, oh my gosh. It's made them think a lot. You know, we got four of pentacles here, holding on to their, their money as tight as they can. It's made them think a lot about life and the fact that things can just happen and they would have no control. And that's a fear of this. So they may explain this to you and get you to see it differently and understand. But let's see what's going on. Why this nine of wands? Okay, we got temperance. They, 
They want they wanting you to be more patient. You see, we got the hanged man in reverse now because. They see you as kind of exiting the situation and not understanding <clears throat> what they're going through or what's going on. Okay. So, why the chariots? Okay. Three of Wands. They they have plans. They have plans for this relationship. Even if you have distanced yourself from this person. Even if you distance yourself from this person, they already know that they're going to get around to speaking to you and explaining themselves and hopefully having a change, like creating change in the relationship, positive change with the death card um, and the three of wands. So they know, they know that they're moving forward with you. They don't know 100% like if you're going to accept. But they know they're going to try, you know. So, why the, why the Seven of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, you see? All Pentacles with this person. Pent six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Three of Pentacles. This person plans to make really long-term financial plans. They're really trying to secure that. Okay, maybe they have a lot of Earth in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth signs like to be stable in life. They like to be grounded and stable and make sure everything, all needs are met. Okay, so this person really has plans for that. They really have plans for the future. I feel like their focus is there, but they they need to balance everything out with you. Why the nine of pentacles? Why the nine of pentacles? Eight of swords in reverse. Okay, wow, judgment. Some of you, this person is going to come up with something amazing that is going to take them out of this stuck place financially and this stuck in their head type energy. And it's like some of you, this person comes up with an idea or something. That, that the weight is lifted somehow because it's clarifying this nine of pentacles, which is all about prosperity and, you know, financial gain and financial growth. So it seems that all their time spent away from you pays off in the end for some of you. They really want to move from a rough place to a more calm place in life. And it's like you being a cancer, you're probably thinking mostly about the, the emotion and the feelings and family time and, you know, date night and everything like needing that closeness with your person but life has shook this person up like i said like they they're finding it hard at the moment to think about anything other than securing themselves in life or even if if you're married it's securing you guys' marriage and family financially okay so page of swords oh my goodness so many cards fly out. Why the Page of Swords? Okay. Three of Swords. This person may express some feelings to you, something that may have hurt them, because they have the Three of Swords. Um, but we got the Ten of Wands in reverse. So it seems like they eventually they eventually release the burden that they're dealing with right now. Most likely a financial burden. Um, but they may reveal some kind of emotional, there might be some emotional message. Or they may straight up tell you about something that hurt them. Or that you, when you distance yourself, it hurts them. It's some kind of straight up confession about um, any kind of pain that they were dealing with in the meantime. Uh, it doesn't mean you've done something to hurt them, it just may mean that they probably don't like the distance. However, life is forcing them to do 
everything to secure themselves. Why justice? Okay, two cards. So we have the three of cups and we have the queen of swords in reverse, which does mean reconciliation. And if some of you were in the queen of swords where you were like cutting them off or distancing yourself, you know, that will kind of, they'll, they'll, they'll soften you up. Okay, they'll explain themselves. They'll make it happen. Three of Cups, though. I don't see a, a, a permanent separation here or permanent disagreements. I see this person just needing to figure it out and let you know what's going on because obviously they haven't been telling you. We have the lovers here. They could be a Gemini. Um, I'm just noticing in this picture that the man is kind of almost invisible, almost transparent, I should say. So it kind of connects with some of you, male or female, you may feel like your partner is just not 100% in the picture, you know, not 100% there. And they will explain themselves to you very soon. Okay, let me see what we got here. Cancer, okay. <laughs> we have improving health. Improving health. Some of you, this person may have been dealing with someone who was going through some kind of illness. Um, that could have been what caused them pain. Some of you, they may tell you that they may break some news to you about their own family or something they've been dealing with, but it doesn't have to be that. We have the intuition. Listen to your intuition. We have take action and wait. So it's only a matter of time before you finally get that breath of fresh air, that conversation. But in the meantime, improve your health, listen to your intuition. If, if your intuition is telling you what I'm telling you or even more, if it's telling you that they do care and that you might be overreacting, then just allow your mind to be at ease. Okay, just allow your mind to be at ease and you'll get the answers that you want. All right, so we got Libra energy here. We have Gemini energy and Cancer and Scorpio. Those are the stronger signs that are coming through, but we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot, since there's a lot of pentacles. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, so this is what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. Why am I saying Scorpio? <laughs> Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. And Scorpios are determined to make things work. So if you're, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, that might be the person who actually comes up with something groundbreaking that changes their life, you know, improves them and, and makes them more prosperous. So they would have the determination to make that happen and they will. So a lot of you, if it's a Scorpio, hang in there, okay? So check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.